the Napleton Sports Desk with David Greenberg. A 26-2 and record, ranked as high as number four in Class 4A in the state of Illinois. It's been an incredible season for the Hananiga Indians baseball team. Today, they look to bring home the program's first ever state championship, but they had to go through Plainfield East in the semifinals first. Our Scott Leber was there in Joliet. He has more on this story. The semifinal game was a matchup of Hananiga's great hitting lineup against some superb pitching by Plainfield East. Plainfield East has three pitchers on its roster who have committed to Division I colleges. The guy who started this game for the Bengals was Notre Dame commit Brady Lauk. The sophomore lefty looked like a D1 guy. He struck out nine of the first 12 Hananiga batters he faced. Plainfield East got to Hananiga starter Ryan Anderson in the top of the second. Center fielder Caden Dyer blasted his solo home run to make it one to nothing. The Bengals tacked on another run later that inning. In the top of the third, Dyer added this shot down the line to his earlier home run. That drove in another run. Plainfield East went up four to nothing. Hananiga finally broke through against Lauk in the bottom of the fourth. Braden Sale's single was Hananiga's first hit of the game. The next batter was catcher Noah Goddard, and for the third straight game, he delivered a big blast, a two-run homer. That made it a 4-2 game. Suddenly, Hananiga was back in it. But the Indians managed only one more run off of Lauk. In the bottom of the seventh, the Indians faced another one of Plainfield's D1 pitchers, Christian Mitchell. After giving up a leadoff single, he set down the next three Indians. He got Bryce Goodwine to line out for the final out. 5-3 was the final. What was it like up there facing those two quality pitchers? They're great pitchers, actually. I mean, and I, all I can, I mean, all we did, we battled the whole game. We gave everything we could, and today just wasn't our day. There's a bitter taste in my mouth. Um, I mean, we were hitting a ball at the end. We were piecing balls up, and you know, just didn't drop. I feel that it was a winnable game for us, and, and you know, hats off to them. They got the job done, and, and we just fell a little short. In Joliet, I'm Scott Leber. In the third place game.